Hey guys, Workspace here, and today I'm gonna start uh, maybe making videos on another tutorial actually about suspension types because honestly, this is kind of what I've been playing the game for is making my own suspensions and all that. And I think it's pretty, I think the way these suspension works are pretty cool. So, I think I'm going to show you guys how I make my suspension type. Oh, that was a bad mistake right there. Kind of blew up. But, we're going to start showing you kind of the different suspension types, such as this one right here. Now, this is my pre runner from, I believe, the last time lapse I uploaded, which is building this thing, which I had the footage ready for a while now. So, I think I'm going to show you how. I think this video is just going to show you how each suspension type works, kind of explaining it, and I'm going to start doing like mini series on how to make these suspension types. Probably going to start recording the next video tomorrow, actually. But I'm going to show you how or how they work in the different types. So, and now I've kind of drifted toward truck or I guess car content. But I'm more of the truck guys. I'm more of the truck guy, and I'm a car guy. So this is my pre-runner here. Like I said before, I'm going to show you kind of like the different types. So this right here would be the independent front suspension. This is a long travel suspension, and this is not what you'd see on normal like trucks today, because on normal trucks you see a regular independent like double wishbone setup, which would contain of an upper control arm and a lower and then you got a coil now it's a coil um, coil over system instead of a coil spring like my truck in real life is then you get the spindle which is then attached to the attach to the brakes and the spindle also connect the steering components now some planes you don't really need steering components it's to just control the wheels up yourself and like I have here but I do have an example of a steering component that I came up as kind of like a pro prototype but right now we're going to show you how this uh, suspension works. So you see how like it, this goes up, but this can stay down and stay level. That's kind of how the the benefit of this uh, this suspension is. It control it makes a much smoother ride compared to the solid rear or solid axles and leaf sprung setups. And sorry if you hear a dog in the background. Yeah. I'm not sure how to do <laughs> deal with him. But yes, yeah, so this is a long travel suspension, so it's going to be a little different than any modern suspension you're going to deal with, but still cool, and honestly, like, really, really fun to make, and actually, in the end, drive a long travel suspension. I'm going to see if this survives this fall here, and we'll show you the compression. Boom. And that, the rear end didn't survive, but whatever. But see, it's just kind of, like, independently, that went down further than the other one. Yeah boom like that it just creates a smoother ride actually this is a perfect example right here they control it's like their own angle right here so it's not like you have the solid axle it's yeah it's not with the solid axle where it's on the same axle so the wheels are the, like the same angle like alignment wise but I'm going to show you in the end how to make this suspension uh, trophy style rear which it's not in great shape right here, and not a perfect example, but this is actually, believe it or not, this is actually pretty difficult. It looks pretty simple, but it's actually pretty hard to get right, uh, get correct, because as you saw, the wheel tilted in, and it can't go back out. I don't know how to fix that, but I'm going to show you some other examples of truck suspensions, and, and what I did, and how I've kind of improved my design. So I'm going to bring out my 2500 since this is actually the most rebuilt thing I've made now the 2500 I don't know if I made a solid axle All right, this is another uh, example of um, a independent so this is kinda like how Ford did, did it back in their uh, older F-150s it's kinda of like the same same concept it's a little different but it's pretty much a lower control arm then you got the coil spring or there would be a coil spring there, there'd be a shock separately normally, but this in this game you don't have the separate coil spring, you just have the coil over style. But this right here is pretty simple. 
pretty easy to make actually and pretty pretty cool and it rides pretty well this however is probably believe it or not in real life this is actually pretty simple to make you just got leaf springs they they flex but in this game you can't make solid bars flex so you have to like go inside make it like have hinges and springs and ever but I just like it because it looks cool my simple way of doing the whole flexing thing is I just add shocks up here but that's not how they work they just kinda like they just flex on their own the more you add the stiffer it is means it hires your towing capacity and then you got shock absorbers to kinda stop the oscillation of the springs so it doesn't keep bouncing up and down that's what all the, that's the whole purpose of shock absorbers and they also um, absorb like sudden shocks from the suspension kinda in the name but this right here is pretty much a good example of the, the suspension and of course I got bottom out but this is a two-wheel drive suspension I think even though I have it for all-wheel drive no this is actually two, proper two-wheel drive yeah but this is my flatbed design it's only two-wheel drive so it's not really tall it's my 20 three-quarter ton truck here even though it's dually in a flatbed so it should be a 3500 but whatever so now some older like really old trucks they have they have um I'm oh yeah, okay so they have solid front and solid rear I don't know why I took I brain farted there so actually I'm gonna bring you up to the 4x4 version of this you see I think I did this one solid front for the 4x4 this one Yes, I did. Okay, perfect. So what I did, I pretty much just lift, put it on blocks. We pretty much just pushed the rear axle away from the leaf springs. I didn't really do anything special there. Added longer shocks, and yeah, I just put a transfer case and a coil over front or um, front axle on coil. But most tr older, like really old trucks, um, <clears throat> really old trucks have coil or uh, leaf sprung front ends, which do not ride at all smooth because it's their trucks they don't have to but modern day trucks with a solid front axle like the Dodge or the Ram 2500 and the Ford F2 F350 and of course the Ram F350 they have the coil sprung or the yeah coil sprung front ends well the Chevy 2500 and and the yeah Chevy 25 and 3500 will have independent front suspensions and they ride probably the best out of them but I've never been in a four wheel drive brand new truck so I've only ridden no road trucks. But yeah, this is pretty much simple. This is actually this would be better for off road if you want to do rock crawling in this game, which there really is no obstacles for it. But it just see just they, they both travel together on the same axle, whereas the other one is kinda of independent. They go up, one goes up, the other stays the same, and vice versa. And then I believe I put four as four by four. Or one. I don't know which one I put as four by four. But yeah, that's pretty much the same. It's the simple suspensions. Now, this is truck suspension. If you want to build you're not like you know, I'm not gonna build a truck and whatever. You can also do all independent front and rear suspensions for like what modern cars have nowadays, whereas the older ones actually did have a solid rear axle. They never had a solid front axle because for obvious reasons. There are cars and they really had no room for them. And my dog is still barking in the background. I'm sorry about that. And actually, I think I did a pretty cool thing with this truck where it was on air ride. Oh, yes. Okay, so. In the custom truck, hold on, give me a second here. I'm gonna yeah, pause for a second. All right, get rid of that. And so this one's bag, so it's got a solid rear axle, but this is actually pretty cool. I wanna, I have to show this off. And this is actually really cool. What I like best in this game for you actually make really cool suspension setups as long as you know the basics of it. I forgot. Oh, this is the rear, so I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna drop the front.
like that. Which I think that's pretty cool. And now I don't know how to deal with the alignment things. I would have just. It's not completely slammed, but I think it's pretty cool. Then if you wanted to jack it up and jack it up in the rear. I hate squatted trucks, so I'm just going to get rid of that. I think at this point it's certain it breaks. That's cool. I believe I keep I kept the quality of the ride actually. No, that's a lie. Like it's completely stiff. The rear is actually pretty good. The rear has flex and all that. So yeah, if like I said, was good. you you could do that. You could make pretty cool things like bags and all that. But I like it keep on ladder frames. It's just easier to make suspension components. And I'm do or no, it's under the fifteen hundred. I think this is my first attempt at a uh, pre runner. I oh, know that's the actual pre runner. I think it's the four by two. Oh yes, okay. So we have body on frame. Here's the independent truck front suspension I was talking about. It's somewhat different than what I, it's what it is in real life. It looks kind of weird, but. Like I said, you got the brakes, you have a, normally a spindle right here, then you have, this one just has a lower control arm, but normally you have an upper and lower control arm, which is what the pre-runner I have is, and then this is an independent rear suspension, so I'm going to do that because it's not realistic to have that moving. So I'm going to have this rolling across the... Uh, And with the problem, the problem with the, the independent suspension is you got alignment issue or alignment problems. But you can just uh, fine tune it, fine tune it to the right angle you want. You kind of line it like that. It may look weird in the editor, but it's how it looks in the game. Is what's important if you're going for looks. Because I keep getting like, oh, it's not about the looks. It's not about the looks. It's about the function. I do agree, but I'm kind of kind of trying to find a balance between it because I like good looking stuff too but anyway so basic rear simple rear suspension it's all but this right here is what prevents it come from keeps bouncing since it is a coil over setup and you don't have the traditional shock absorber but you do in here so let's see damper damper you do damper all the way down you kind of see how bad this could get. See, it just kind of balances. And just kind of like, it just keeps going up and down because the shock is oscillating. So it's just going to keep going up and down until the energy is gone. But what the shock does, it takes it takes all that movement and that, or it turns it into heat and disposes of the heat. But if you do 250%, I don't know if I did, I think I did just the front camera number. Well, yeah, I did. But if you do it to the front, and it shouldn't bounce as much. Okay, it still bounces. But in real life, that's what the damper is. It just dampens the uh, effect of the shocks and the shock of the, the what the suspension gets. See, it's just kind of like, it doesn't keep balancing. It just it smooths out instantly. And it's not going to survive. So, yeah. But anyway, this is kind of the introduction to my... Uh, going to be probably a little mini-series on suspension types and how to make them. Because I think it's pretty cool how to make these work. And honestly, you can make... Yep, see, it survived. Well, you know. And upright, too. Well, well you know. And I'm going to show you kind of like what I'm trying to learn about in this game. If I can make it work. And uh, so far, I've actually made it work, but only on a certain suspension type. So, I'm going to bring up the uh, 3500. It's just a chassis right now, it's not an actual truck, but this is actually a pretty good example of solid rear, solid front, pretty basic setup. And actually, I can show you the spindles now since I do technically now have it. So this right here would be the spindle, 
this would go out to the control arm now this is what this is actually kind of based off of my truck in real life kind of it's a similar concept but it's not exactly because I drive a Chevy S10 in real life a uh, two-wheel drive S10 so basically the what they happen will go the steering wheel go be right here there will be a shaft that goes into the steering box the steering box would connect it to a gears which would change the uh, change it into go make this move so basically turn left that goes right or they facing that way they'll go right which then pushes the the actual arm right here this will go down and now rotate and I'll push those to the side it's actually a pretty cool setup solid front axle nothing too special pretty basic uh, heavy-duty truck style suspension right here bouncy had the back like really soft and all that it was actually kind of nice but I got to figure out how to make that I'm still kind of working out the kinks to this this the leaf sprung suspension I know how to make a solid rear axle work I just don't know how to properly do it I did it properly once but it's a lot of work to make it properly but anyway I think we're just gonna end this video here and I am actually making a video on this uh, chassis right here I just, it's gonna be another time lapse video so nothing too special but I think it's gonna be pretty fun making the suspension, guys. It's honestly really cool. Honestly, it's actually a really satisfying product to make after you do it. It does take some time to learn because you gotta learn, uh, learn out the kinks. Because one time you do it, it might work perfectly. The next time you do the same thing, it does not work at all. It's kind of my luck with it. But anyway, guys, I think I'm gonna show the end of this video here. I think it's a pretty short video compared to my normal commentaries. But yet again, it's been a while since I've recorded anything, and so yeah, yeah, yeah it's just gonna, it's gonna, I'm gonna be a little rusty. I'm, I haven't talked in my one of my videos like over a year now, and I usually just been doing live streams for the past year, so I don't think my live streams are gonna come back. Because personally, the reason I start, I stopped uh, recording videos was because I got bored of it. I never really played video games anymore because uh, I was working at the time I was at school. But now I've graduated and I have tons of time. I just need to find another job. So I won't have much time then. So I don't know the future of my channel. I'm just going to be straight. But I'm going to make a uh, middle mini series during, during this week to give me some something to do this weekend. And also, I'm going to have fun, some fun with it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this video here. See you guys next time.